Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to episode 12 of the Same Brain Podcast. Episode 12. 12. 12. Roll the intro. Oh boy. Hey guys. Uh, hi. So we did not do last week, but I feel like we've had so much going on. I know we keep saying that. I feel like since we've started this podcast, so many things have just started picking up and getting really crazy. Yeah. When we started, there was like not a lot going on, a lot of downtime, just kind of chilling. And now we're into the tech season and it's crazy. And also I feel like every episode, like we want to keep adding things. We want to keep tweaking things. Like you can't see it right here because it is off camera. And if you're listening to audio, you can't see it, but I am doing a video of this review for this HP all-in-one computer and it's amazing. And we have it sitting right next to the camera. So now we can like, it's like a huge screen. So we want to search for something. We've got a little mouse, we got a keyboard. Yeah, this is great. Although our notes for today, it basically just says podcast episode 12 and then it's completely <laughs> blank. Oops. So we don't have many notes, but you know what we do have, Justine? What do we have, Jenna? We have ratings and reviews from our Apple podcast. We have 640 reviews, still five stars. So thank wow. you to everyone who has been rating as well as leaving some reviews. I'm going to read a couple. Please do, Jenna. I'm taking off my glasses because they're hurting my head. That is totally fine. Uh, Chris said that this is the best tech podcast out there. Justine and Jenna have a really have done a really great job. Very funny and a great way to keep up with tech news. Wow. Always look forward to new episodes. Keep up the good work. We Chris, plan on it. Thank you so much. Um, this one says, fun listening to two exuberant hostesses talking tech, travel, and other timely topics. Timely, very timely. They said the hostesses. Hostesses. I actually enjoyed that. This one's my favorite. Waverly says, I use this to fall asleep. This is by far my favorite podcast in the world. Is that a compliment? It is. There was a heart. Hmm. But we make you fall asleep. I feel like I can get it because I like to, you love watching shows before I bed. It's great. So that's some fun little content. Well, you have a birthday message. It was your birthday last week. It was. Was I it am, last week already? I am now older than I was a week, exactly a week ago. We are all we're older this. every day. This is the youngest we will ever be right now. Happy birthday to I think this is like a recorded. They, I think they just recorded this. Mm-hmm. Who? I think it was a generic birthday song that somebody had recorded for I understand. you. Because, because they did like, not say I a name. I think they said who who. Your podcasts are so good that I listen while I do my math. <gasps> while you do no. your math? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's let's think about math for a second. No. Okay, we're not going to talk about math. Good luck with your math homework. Hi, Justine and Jenna. I absolutely love your podcast and both of your channels. Be sure to stay safe. Love you guys. Oh, I think Thank we you. read this one last. I think we listened to that last time. Well, we haven't you know been what? posting, so we are definitely looking for some new uh, reviews as well as voice messages. Well, I guess voice messages. Yeah. So if you guys want to leave any voice messages, you can at anchor.fm slash same brain, as well as you can find us in the Apple podcast. Oh, yes. And Spotify too. Also Spotify. I love. So I use Spotify. I I use Spotify a lot. I use, well, I do use both because I use, I have home pods in every corner of my home. I just use my home pod to turn on my lights. Okay. That's fine. I mean, and then I use Sonos. But then I also use Amazon Alexa. Oh, for all, I, I'm very, very just all over the map. Wow. What else do we have in our notes for today, okay, Justine? So, um, so did, next, we, did we tell them about what, what our new setup is here? Or was that the last one that we started recording and then we started over five times because I can't talk today? Really hard to tell. I think we did, I, we did do a podcast. We did with the, with the new setup. Did I, but no, I'm saying, did I tell them about our new setup? Or was that in the... That was this one. Okay. <laughs> We're losing track. We weren't able to do last week, but we're back, ready to chat. There's a new game coming out, Jenna, <gasps> this weekend that I figured I would just segue into. Well, it's like a new old game. Yes. But, well, by the time you're listening to this, it already came out, and it is Tony Hawk 1 and 2 remastered. This was my childhood. I locked myself in the room. Was it like a PlayStation 1? PlayStation? No. It was a Dreamcast. Was it a Dreamcast? Yes, we played Tony Hawk on Dreamcast. We really? also did have we did have original PlayStation, but we played on Dreamcast. This was Dreamcast. Mm-hmm. I'm. Are you sure? I'm. I am like yes. I'm almost positive because I actually don't think we had the PlayStation. I think our grandfather had it because he used to play golf games. So I'm not even sure if we had the we original. Played, we did have PlayStation One, but we then did? we didn't have two. We didn't have we had We had Dreamcast. I think I do remember <clears throat> I'm dream- losing my voice. I do remember Dreamcast. Oh man. But either way, I just remember sitting in my room for hours, 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 and just grinding 
the Tony Hawk games. And the soundtrack to this day is still one of my favorite game soundtracks. When ever. one of those songs come on from the soundtrack, you're just like, Tony Hawk! You're like, yeah! Yeah, I have no idea what they're called, but when you hear it, you know. And I just like, I think back to like the one mall. I, what game was the mall? That was, yeah, that was in there. It was in there, but which yes. one? Was it one or I don't two? remember it was, was one or two. Like, I there's so like, many different games. Like, I, oh, Dreamcast, there oh, it is. Yeah, I'm oh. trying to find the Dreamcast controller. I just want to look at it to see if that spawns anything for you, Jenna. I mean, maybe this was so long ago. See, the reason that I know it was Dreamcast is because we also had other accessories for the Dreamcast. Oh, there it is. I remember I used to play some type of fishing. Justine is uh, off Sorry. camera choking. Fishing? I think we used to play a fishing game And then on there was there. like a rifle game as well, like oh. a bear hunting or something, I or do deer hunter or something. But I think it was Dreamcast that we played on. I really think it was PlayStation, but I'm not sure. Also, we still don't have pop filters, so I decided that we should do the rest of this podcast without Oddcast. saying any peas. so this is oddcast episode 12 we are excited for tony hawk rose, rose skater, skater. <laughs> uh, one and two coming to you on xbox c and playstation okay she did it so this is kind of weird because it's like I'm, I'm not seeing the camera now but i'm just seeing this monitor and i just want to look big. at the monitor yeah. i and we have no notes no, it literally says episode 12 and then it's completely blank. But there's a lot of news coming out. I'm, okay, obviously excited about the Tony Hawk. I think, well, here's the thing. It's already out by the time you guys are listening to this. True. But for us, it is Thursday evening and I think tomorrow it's officially coming out. So I'm going to be streaming it. Are you going to stream it? I hope so. I have, I mean, like I really love this tech season, but it is in, incredibly overwhelming. Like we have, I have like a list of maybe 25 videos right now. That, yes. So I keep thinking, I'm like, well, okay, if I'm shooting with Tyler and it's either me or Tyler editing or shooting, like we can't be editing and shooting at the same time. I know. We need more people. And I've just, I just was been shooting and editing myself and I don't like it. So then I just give up. I'm like, well, I just won't do it. Yeah. It's, it's not, it's not great, but like, I don't know how to find someone to edit because I feel like after I shoot it, I'm like, oh, I just already know what to do and I can just edit. How do you hire people? It's, it's tough. It's like, very tough. Because it's also a very personal thing. Like I'm shooting myself and like sometimes I'm just like all flustered or like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's a lot. It is so a lot. I'm not We're sure. definitely very grateful for Tyler. He just, he just stepped out of the room stepped so we can, we can talk Tyler. about how cool he is. Grateful Tyler. for Tyler. He's, he's real cool. But we need like four of them. I know. Okay. I, I know it's yes it's very difficult like I shot the Z Fold 2 video yesterday and then like I was like oh man I need to get like other shots but like you guys were filming here and I was like I'm just gonna do this on myself and then I wasn't really thrilled with like how it came out and then I was like ah now I have to edit the video but then I had another video that was due and I was like well I can't I can't do everything at once I was yeah like, there's just not enough time there really isn't it's and tough. this whole month we've been kind of reorganizing and basically I basically moved, but I didn't move because you had to move everything out to get everything all cleaned and painted. Yeah. So it's like you moved, but you didn't move. We got rid of a lot of stuff. A lot of things were donated. The a amount lot. of clothes that I just was like, I, so I never read the Marie Kondo book. Is that what? The, I that don't was, know. That was like the show talking about like organizing. And like, I mean, the basis of it is like, if it doesn't bring you joy, get rid of it. Well, oh, I realized that's the theme of 2020 right there. There was nothing that was bringing me joy in my closet, except maybe like Lululemon. Dude, I love so Lululemon. I oh got my rid gosh. of like dresses. I was like, I'm never gonna wear this dress. I saved a couple of dresses just in case I had like some emergency wedding to go to that we wouldn't go to because it's COVID season forever. I don't know if it's a season. You're right. I, I mean, you know, it's. But can we just talk about how nice the HP logo looks? Like, look at Let it. Let me look if they rebranded. I feel like this is not the HP logo that I am familiar with from you HP know. logo. That's the same thing. No, it's not. Look, okay, but no, look is at this mouse. It, See, it's it's, it's inverted. Well, no, look, they just removed the top of the H oh, gosh. and the top of the P, but because of how it looks, like it merges it all together and it still looks like the logo. HP logo update. It looks amazing. HP's new logo is awesome. It's so- This like, was 2016. Really? I actually kind of remember that. Okay, so this was 2000, this was four years ago. Um, I do actually remember that and I yeah. love it. Like I love it so much. When we were unboxing and doing the review of this, I was plugging in the, um, the, the power cable and I was like looking at the logo. I'm like, oh my gosh. With the ultra this thin uh, Spectre 13 good. laptop, one of the seller changes the company is making is its logo. It's incredible. Interesting. I just wanted to share with you. That's that's that piece of information. I'm very happy that we have this sitting here. This I is just, gonna be cool. This is gonna be great for whenever we do 
uh, interviews. Oh my gosh, it, we should probably do some interviews. We should. So this has like a pop-up webcam on it. So right now you can't see it, but really? we press down. Yes, this part of this is not sponsored. It is a sponsored video that I'm doing, but I just, I'm actually really in love with this computer. That's cool. I know. So it, you press it down and then it pops up. So it's like privacy. Wow. Oh, privacy. That, that is It's only nice. activated when it's up and on. That's well. what she said. Oh God. Okay. Anyway. So, um, geez, oh wheeze. So- that's cool. I have the HP Omen uh, desktop PC and you I've do. been it's enjoying it greatly. It's very great. Just recently updated the RAM, you know, been doing the games. Also, HP has, oh, still not sponsored, but like, man, they I got know. some cool stuff. They do. One of the mouse pads, I can't remember the actual name of it, but it has a built-in wireless charger because one of, is this also wireless charging? That is not, but gotcha. tell your story, then I'll tell well, you mine. It's just cool because you can use, you can charge the mouse wirelessly on the mouse pad, but I've been using it to charge my phone as well. This is the HP Envy All in One. Not this is this part is not sponsored, Still not sponsored. Which is, <laughs> but Still. they are sponsoring another video. Just to clarify, um, the base of it, the stand, it's also a wireless charger. Oh my god! I, like where you would like just set something. It just and then look at this. Look at this. Look Speaking, at this keyboard. That's a nice key. Look. Oh, oh that I, is nice. So dude, what happened is there's like a little hyped. a little I don't know, like a little ledge, and she has placed her phone in the keyboard ledge, so where it's facing her. That's interesting. You I know, know what made me really upset today? I was thinking what? about my MacBook Pro, and every time I feel like the MacBook Pro, one of like the sides, I feel like it should be a wireless charger, and it's not. That's what you're upset about? Yeah, think about it. Like I like set my phone on it, and I was like, that'd be cool if this was charging. My phone. True, but, like, but that would be sucking the battery out if you're- I have it plugged in. If, you're, if it's plugged in, that's nice. But, and then also I was mad because I tried to touch the screen and you can't touch the screen. So like- Life is why, hard for you today. Why won't they add a touch screen, Justine? Because- I, Justine, why won't, why, why, why? Well, why? Why? Mm. Why? They won't. Why? Because they have iPads. Turbo that's turbo. not a MacBook Pro. It's not. That's not a Mac speaking, book Pro. Speaking <laughs> of Turbotur, Okay, hold She's on. She's changing the subject. I She's am. upset. <laughs> Turn off all my lights. No. Okay. Most of the lights are off. I Where's the... <laughs> no. <I> can't just... <laughs> okay. We're going to talk about some new devices that have recently... Well, they've kind of been launched, but really aren't out yet, actually. The Surface Duo, the Z Fold... No, yes, Z Fold 2. I kept calling it the Z Flip because the Z Flip- that's also a thing, yeah. It's been one of my favorite phones this year. I talked about it in my little unboxing video. So everyone keeps wanting to know which one is better. Now it's interesting because these, I feel like are two different devices. Completely. Somebody said, well, if I want to get a phone, like which one should I get? I'm like, oh, I don't, I can't tell you which because I feel like the Surface Duo is kind of like a supplemental device. Like a lot of people were saying that, okay, if for business or for work or something, you would have like your normal phone. And this is almost like a laptop, basically. Yeah, and you can run two different apps on both of the screens. Whereas I, where are you able to do that with the- You can do it on the Z Fold, but it's different. It's it's not the same, but yes, you can. You can run up to three apps at the same time. I kept trying and it like wasn't really working, but I did like that you could do the picture in picture on the, uh, on the Z Fold. Yeah. So like I was watching a video and like doing other things. So like that was cool. But even like, so the screen is much bigger on the Duo. It is, but also again, like you're running two separate screens. So the Fold, you fold that out. It's basically like you have one huge screen all together. But you also can have one screen with the Surface Duo as well. You can, but then there's the the hinge in the middle. It's really, it's not that bad. Well, do you want the hinge or do you want the crease? Exactly. I like when people are like, what about the crease? And I was like, look, if you don't want a crease, then don't buy a phone that has folding glass. Like it's really simple. (laughs) It's literally not like, it's not It's not brain surgery, brain surgery, brain rocket science. Rocket science. I was trying to do brain brain surgery. It's not that difficult. You just don't do it people. There's other options. But honestly, you don't really notice the crease that much. You don't, but on video you do. So I yes. think that is kind of a deterrent for some people. Cause I remember I had never had the first one and you know, I was watching everybody's videos. I think like Marquez's was like the first one that I watched. And I was like, oh my gosh, why isn't he like saying like how terrible this crease is? In person, it doesn't look bad. Like, no. You, it's completely different. So it's very deceiving. And the front screen looks so good. Looks I think really that good. that actually what was kind of shocked me the most because I wasn't expecting to be able to watch like videos and mm-hmm. have like a full functioning front screen. I, I was, was playing like, Halo on my front screen. Oh, I didn't even think to do that. I was yeah. playing, oh my God, I was playing Forza and it was so bad. Me so too. bad. Yeah. I was like, ooh, 
I mean, it, the X cloud is still in beta, but I think it was honestly a personal problem. No, it's definitely a personal problem. And because the, so the way that we had ours rigged is we had a top down camera and then I, like the camera was kind of right Same. here. So I couldn't, I couldn't look. see it. So I'm like trying to play. I was like, this is terrible for me, but great for camera. I had the same problem because my camera was here and mm -hmm. I had it sh like angled away from me. And I'm like, oh, I can't really see. But either way, I think they both look good. I think that the duo versus the fold, it's honestly, it's depending on what the consumer wants. Yeah. Two I, separate devices. I do think though, if you want to take like really great photos and videos, the duo is not the choice. The, the the obviously the the Samsung. Well, I mean, does the duo is it an eleven megapixel camera? It is eleven. Yes, but then, I'm saying like the video, it's just it's really not comparable. No, it's it's not. I mean, well, I think what the um the fold has a twelve megapixel camera, but you can still take photos and video with the duo. There's just more <laughs> options in in the Samsung device, and obviously the Samsung device is a lot bigger. I mean, the duo they're just two bigger? separate devices. The what duo is bigger. Yes. But I'm saying, the, I wasn't the sure what I was saying. actually thinner, but That's longer. what I meant, size-wise, like the, the thinness of the Duo. I think Mark has also posted a video yeah, yeah. with the the, uh, the Note 20 saying that the, the, the camera the camera bump was about the size of the Duo, like yeah, in thickness. That was actually kind of crazy. I don't know, I really like both and it just, it, it depends. You can't really compare them. So iPhone rumors, Jess, well, let's, let's talk about them. What do you think's gonna happen? You know what's crazy? I have not looked at any rumors in the past maybe two weeks. Oh, I, I, I haven't looked in like a, a week, but I feel like they're probably the same. There was, well, I did see, okay, I saw a few things, but I was like, okay, I can't focus on this because there were so many of the things that I had to focus on. I was like, once I start w looking up iPhone rumors, like my day is over. Oh. Did I just say rumors? R it doesn't oh, matter. The rumors. The rumors. Well, let's talk about the rumors of the 2020 iPhones. Uh, it's gonna be here before we know it. Rumored 5.4 inch phone, small. I'm trying to I find. also saw that the biggest phone is now going to be, what was it, 6.7 inches, I believe, in the display, which is bigger than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Yeah, so, so. here's the, the lineup right here, which is kind of crazy because that's pretty big. Yeah. Really. It is. And so, I mean, imagine they would probably come out with a smaller version, um, but this is cool. They may be having a navy blue finish. It looks really pretty. I know. It's basically like the green that came out last year, but in blue. Do you think you would get it? I think I would. I really? So I don't really, I'm not, like I loved that green color, but that was my review one. So for me, I had the, the silver finish. I do too. But, oh yeah, that's right. Oh. Look at that. Cool. Hey, we have a, I took my yeah. case off the other day and go, oh, my phone beautiful. is white. So beautiful. Silver. It's white. So that's the navy awesome. blue is really awesome. It's pretty cool. I'm definitely into that. So is there going to be a four camera type of situation here? What, what do we, or what's it going to be a depth sensor? It could be the depth sensor. It could also be the LiDAR sensor. I which love I, LiDAR. Jenna loves LiDAR. <laughs> I love LiDAR. LiDAR, radar, all the DARs really. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm kind of excited about is AR. Ooh. Uh, obviously Apple has been pushing that extensively over the past couple of releases and talking about all of that cool stuff. So I really wanted to make an augmented reality version of myself that I could then puppeteer. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Kind so like, of, yeah. I don't want to say what I want to do with this. I understand. I can tell you later and you guys might see it very soon, but oh. I have a really cool idea. So I basically want to have a 3D avatar that I can control and put in videos for I something. Understand. I understand. I it like it. You really just told cool. them. Well, yeah. Do you think we're gonna have a fingerprint sensor? Will they bring that back? I've loved on all of the newer like Samsung devices, how they have it on the side. Like it's the, like power the power button, button. It makes is so the fingerprint sensor. much sense. Well, and now, especially too, with like everyone wearing face masks, it's like, oh cool. Okay, you got rid of the, you know, the, the, the main feature, the, the button. But now it's also like, you know, every time I go to use my iPhone, I have to type in my passcode because yeah. it's like, there's no other way. If I have a mat, like you can't tell it's me. So I will say that I'm, I'm really, I hope they do it. Really I'm liking Samsung's like, here's your fingerprint. Yeah. Or well, what if they have it like duo. embedded into the, like the glass? Oh yeah, the Duo too. The Duo has it on the side. I just don't think that that's possible. I feel like if Apple did that, it wouldn't, I just don't think, I mean, well, I guess the tech is, it's possible. I mean, obviously a lot of other phones and devices have that integrated and it, it does seem to work. I just feel like Apple is not gonna want that to fail. Yeah, I guess so. I just feel like, you know, Considering the unprecedented times, um, the unprecedented times, we, it's it's 
it's interesting. I know. I feel like they've got to do something. They can't just make it, okay, here's a faster way to get to your passcode. Yeah. Like, okay, thank you. Let's see here. I was also reading somewhere um, about uh, the possibility of allowing for a longer, uh, long exposure up to maybe four oh, minutes. Really? I, well, I don't remember if I was reading that or if I was think like or something, but I mean, right now you can only do what, 20 or 30 seconds for long exposure. I mean, that'd be awesome because I know can go somewhere cool and take some cool long like, exposure photos. I remember the picture. Oh, the again. I remember the picture that I saw the from, from Cody Blue did a four minute exposure. Was it the Pixel or was the it? Ixel. Was it, the, it, was it was the Ixel. It was the Ixel. The Ixel device, four minute long exposure of the Milky Way. And it looked like it was taken on a mirrorless camera. So if that is something we're able to do, because right now the long exposure it's not bad. It's not bad. It is not bad at For all. For a phone, it's incredible. Yeah, but I'm seeing all these other incredible things coming out of phones. Yeah, well. So if you can just extend that long exposure, yeah, it's going to look great. I remember I did the light painting with the, um, mm -hmm. and it looked really cool. But It yeah. looks like, this is what I've seen everywhere. People are saying September 10th is the, the event. What? I know, it's soon. And I what think there it? were some people that they they saw that Apple accidentally like launched a live stream or something on YouTube and it had the date because they were doing like a test of it. Oh, dude, do I get it. I get yep. it. Yep. It happens, man. So that could potentially be, I mean, I feel like I honestly have not looked, I wanted to do a full video about it. So I haven't really been doing as much research. So I wish that I had more information about rumors, but look we for don't. a future video. Do we think there'll be 5G? I feel like you can't launch a phone right now without 5G. It's got to be 5G. Right? It has I, to be. I also think I was reading somewhere it was around like $75 to $125 to implement like the 5G into each device. Really? Expensive. Well, these phones are getting expensive. The Fold is like freaking $2,000. $2,000, I know. And then also, um, do we think it'll be USB-C? Or no ports at all. No, oh, they're not going to do that yet. We're not ready for no ports at all. So it doesn't matter because Apple's like, oh, you're We're not ready? Not ready. What do I Did do? My, you, what do I do in my car? I plug my car in for CarPlay. How do I? Too. How do I CarPlay? Bluetooth? No. Bluetooth. No. You hate CarPlay. They have made it better. They have made it a lot better. It Move does not update. obnoxiously. Obnoxiously. Yeah. That sounded. It does not obnoxiously read my messages. And it's not like I have anyone in my car now anyway. But like I have to hear like woman, man holding hand, <laughs> pregnant woman, lady with. Are you who's pregnant? Well, so in our family I know, I'm group just chat, Brienne, our Brienne is, we, I mean, she had a baby a year ago, but she still, I think has she the still have the pregnant she's belly. Still, she's still the regnant belly. The regnant. She's the, the regnant. regnant emoji. Guys, I'm sorry. This is probably going to be our worst episode ever. Why? You don't think so? I'm having, we're talking about tech. I'm just like so tired. Oh, I've been exhausted for like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I haven't been taking my vitamins. I, I think I need either. to get like a checkup, go to the doctor, but like, I don't want to go to the doctor. The last time I went to the doctor, I I got, I went for a strep throat and then I left with the flu. Oh my. So now I'm just like, oh, I'm just chilling. I think my problem is I've been eating too much sugar. I, I haven't, been, I haven't been working out and I haven't been sleeping well. So. The sugar is, I like I, even the yerba mates, like I need to stop drinking two a day. Oh, that's bad. It is bad. I've been drinking two a day. They mean the ones that I drink do have a lot of sugar in them. I think there's like 27 hey, grams Hey, you should can. switch to the sparkling cranberry pomegranate. It's I, lower calories, lower sugar. I bought some of the the blackberry mint ones. Ew, Because no. they're very low. I think there's like one gram of sugar. No, that's because they taste like dirt. Uh, like sparkling okay. dirt. Okay, well, I mean, that's fine. The, but the that is cranberry healthier. pomegranate is actually quite good. You know what you could do? What if you mixed? Oh, mixed half and them? half. So then you could have a little bit of both. A little bit of yerba on my side. Did no, you know? I need to figure something out because I'm tired. The sparkling cranberry pomegranate is the same height as the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Same height. That's really some knowledge that we needed here. Same so height. If you guys are ever in some sort of trivia competition. Same height. And that's a question that they ask. Same height. Same. Well, I mean, like pretty much. I was just pretty like much. eyeballing it. Okay. So do you think that, oh, look, wait, wait a minute. We had something. Wait, 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 there was, I'm looking at this rumored video and it looked like there was a fingerprint sensor on the, in the screen of the iPhone. This, that's been rumored for the past couple of years. Maybe this is the year. This is the, it has to be. This is the perfect time. You really need to. we need it. We need Apple. We need it. I loved the iPhone SE when that, when the, when I covered that video in that phone because it was just like the fingerprint sensor. I don't back. know. I, didn't, I missed that one. It's okay. It was cool. They had it back. Oh, cause the button. Well, the SE. Yeah. It's cool. I'm sorry. It's okay. You can, I'm, what if it doesn't come with earbuds or 
I was. It's not supposed to. It's not supposed to come with I'm, earbuds. I don't think it should come with earbuds. Those go right in the donate or trash or yeah. stay in the box. Mine always stay in the box. Stay in the box. And then I'm like, oh, I found this. Also the power adapter. A lot of the times I leave that in the box because I just, you know, I've got wireless it's chargers and I have, I already have a million cords. So like, I, I don't know. I feel like if you had the option, like, do you want to add this on? Yes or no? Yeah, that's options. a good idea. We like because, options. But then, I mean, are they going to be charging you? Yes. I guess they would charge you. They would charge you more. Yeah. So mm-hmm. then do we get a discount? I don't know, Jenna. It could also uh, help with like the fee of now, like the 5G extra added cost too. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy to think about like what a cost that is. What a cost that is. What? Whatever makes you. It's like what Happy a girl, what a girl wants, what a girl oh my needs. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what other games have you been playing? I haven't had time. Me either. But, I'm um, just playing Animal Crossing Oh my day. God, wait, when's the new Call of Duty coming out? Do we know? Is that they soon? Did. Yeah. When? Well, it's when? October. Hold on. The wait. multiplayer reveal is supposed to be on September 9th. It's planned to wait. release on November 13th. That's still some time away. Yeah. I got real sad. That's like Thanksgiving time where we just play games. Yeah. I mean. And we can go home to visit our family because traveling and, you know, hanging out with people is something yeah. that we don't do anymore are there any other games i haven't played fall guys much anymore it's still very infuriating it's still is there like a new game that everyone's been hopping on the bandwagon fall guys still yeah fall guys still okay all right i'm still um, bad at it i want to play some more i just i gotta get all my projects done before i'm allowed I know. to play video games and stream again i still need I to feel w- bad i've abandoned my streaming for the past couple of weeks me too also flight sim is still really fun oh, um, flight sim is so good they're doing pretty well i don't know what the actual ratings are but there's a lot of people my number seven in the world for one of the landings uh last time i tried it was like twenty two thousand, so i'm probably like a hundred thousand now man what it's so fun it's really cool i'm working on another little secret project that you guys should probably see like maybe next month i think do i know about the secret you do it's i know about the secret you do okay so it's crazy because filming stuff now I mean, we film stuff by ourselves all the time, so that's not new. But when doing projects for like a bigger project that we have to film for somebody else and then they're editing, it's crazy. Because normally they would bring in a crew, film it, then leave. I know, I was trying to help on, it's like a very, very big well-known company and I've got like some friends who work there and they're like, hey, we're having some podcast issues. Like, (laughs) how do we do that? I was like, all right, just give me a call. And I'm like, okay, this is what you need to do with this and this input, this input. Are you doing this? Like if you're using this, you need to do this. It's just, it's really tough because it's like if you're not used to doing it yourself. Yeah, and you you have to. And even streaming, that was such a new process for me and trying to learn how to like do that, like stream labs and setting everything up. It's like, wow, this is a lot. One thing goes wrong too. You need to be able to fix it live while streaming. Yeah, I mean, we you can remember end, that. You can end the stream, but like- Remember me trying to- Troubleshoot. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. I think it was like an hour and a half. It was <laughs> like ridiculous. An hour. But yeah, so it's, there's a lot goes into things. A lot of, a lot of technical difficulties that can um, happen. And it was like all of my information that I had for you was from my streaming days or recording gameplay stuff from like five or six years ago, maybe even longer. Probably longer yeah, actually. Probably. Yeah, probably. So Cause it was a long time ago. So but everyone like, was like, uh, but it's good because everyone can also give you live feedback, but sometimes they like to mess with you and they're like, we can't hear you, we can't hear you. And I'm like, hello, 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 hello. And they're like, oh, just kidding, we can hear you. And I'm like, you're like guys, but I need you're help. You're not funny, but you got me. So um, we painted the wall. I got my kitchen painted. We, I painted everything. Can everything we talk, was nice and clean. The, the paint looks incredible. Everything is clean, but can we talk about David Blaine? <gasps> David Blaine sent a bunch of YouTubers, because this was a YouTube project with YouTube Red, where he sent like this box with like a bunch of balloons in it because he did this crazy stunt where he went into the air with a bunch of balloons. I mean, I feel like that's every child's nightmare when you're little. No, he said that was his dream. Uh, Okay, every maybe normal- Non-magician. Non-magician's child. Creative brain. Nightmare. Like think about, think about it floating away. Yeah. I mean, okay, so I have questions because I only watched the live stream kind of towards the end. Did he have on the parachute the whole time? He did not. The parachute, so that was a part of the whole thing. So I watched a little more of an extended uh, clip from it. And so I think he did over 500, 600 jumps. 500 jumps? Well, you have well, to, from to, a get, plane. to get certified well, for yeah. solo so, jumps. And, well, and he also had to become uh, a pilot. So he got all these like different... Um, 
pilot mm-hmm. licenses, and he also got a like balloonist license. Like he was had a train. That's to, a thing. Yeah, to like learn how to like fly like hot air balloons. Oh, so he flew hot air balloons, and then he flew some gas balloons, which are really interesting because they're completely silent. Whereas like the hot air, you hear the air, you hear it, yeah. But the gas ones are like completely silent. So this is like a whole special thing. He called in I some like of the job. best of the best meteorologists he had this one guy i'm blanking on his name i think it was might have been zach he was like the main dude i don't know oh shoot i wanted to look him up but i didn't get a chance to but he did this crazy jump from a plane incredibly high i think about as high as david was with no parachute and landed like exactly where like he was exactly supposed, where to? supposed to yeah he's looking that incredible. is insane i, I mean know. i only jumped out of a plane once I it was tandem i had ever a person attached to me and i was only at like seven eight thousand feet and it was crazy because this was uh, two years ago in the summer in like the desert. So very, very hot. But when you get past a certain altitude, it's obviously a lot cold. It's so, so cold and the oxygen is much lower. So like jumping out, it's just like kind of like takes the wind out of you. You're like, <gasps> so he had so to train cool. and like go to all these yeah. like high altitude places. He did not have the parachute on when he went up, which was a part of the stunt. So he had to put the parachute on. So it was kind of like, okay, all right, you're yeah, doing he that. Didn't, he didn't put it on until like, well, like, 10,000 10, something yeah and then Ooh. he didn't use any oxygen until it was almost 20, they basically like forced him like twenty thousand feet yeah yeah they're like he had like a- uh david david like they were like calmly being like you should you know you should think about you know doing it and he's like no <laughs> i was and like well, this is great they also it was great well it wasn't well, it was kind of crazy because they really wanted him to to put the oxygen on just in case and he was like no and then he was reading his oxygen blood oxygen levels and he was doing all these specific like breathing techniques and like he they were worried that i think confidence is actually a side effect of you know when your brain starts shutting off mm-hmm. so they were asking him questions to make sure that he was coherent like no, they, for sure. Because they didn't believe him. I mean, here's the thing. He could become incapacitated at any minute. Yeah. And then what? I mean, I'm sure they have some type of... So hopefully, sa- if they I mean, safe. Well, well, yeah. I mean, if he's still like floating, you could probably somehow grab him out of the... I don't even know. I don't know. I don't but know what their fail safes were. Jumping from that high of an altitude, like just the force that he was free falling at, I can't even imagine. Like that could instantly just incapacitate you and knock you out. And he then was what? 29,000 feet. Yes. Do you think that they had some other type of fail stage for like they could remote activate his parachute? I don't, I don't know. I really hope so. I was, he didn't have it, the parachute on to begin with. I, I, oh, I am, I have so many questions because now. I had so many questions the watching The parachute this. from the balloon above him. He did and he put it and on. And then he put it on. Also stressed me out. Was he holding on with his hands? I don't know. I, there had to have been something on. I was like, your arm. I thought he was holding on. Me too, but that wouldn't have been. But then I think he might've connected something. I'm not sure. I need to go rewatch it. I need to rewatch it too. That was so stressful. But I was like watching this like, is this seriously happening? You started really early because I woke up and you were like, David Blaine's flying. I was like, David Blaine's doing his thing. Let's go. I just woke up. Man, that was remarkable. And and the fact that he couldn't land at his normal landing spot and had to like rethink the place. I'm like, this is how you break your legs. He's like, like, are there? He's like, "Uh, can somebody tell me if there's uh, power 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 lines? lines? And he's like, "Uh, we, he's like, um, I can't see from your camera angle. I can't, it's not good enough. Call. I don't, and like, you don't want to be like, oh yeah. no, you're fine. Because that's actually how very bad things happen. Yeah. So, oh man. I it was, was really just, cool. When you he, guys should check it out. When he touched down and was running, I'm like, oh, thank God. And then I was like, well, what if he gets bit by a rattlesnake? Oh my God. I had all these terrible, I was just so glad David's okay. I was, Jenna was oh, like, he's going to die. I'm like, he's going like, to Oh my God, he's going to die. Before. But his but little daughter thing. was so cute. She was so cute. He's like, headset. I did this all for you. Oh, it was God. so cute. I would have been like, dad, do something less stressful because I'm this is too much. This is too much for me. She's really cute. She was cute. So that was that was very interesting. I YouTube tweeted me back too and I tweeted. I was like, oh my God, hey guys, thanks for doing this. I, I enjoyed it and I was also stressed out. So they sent us some gift boxes. Like I was saying, they, they filled them with Gosh. balloons and so he, it had like David Blaine written on the side of it. And I mean, this box is massive. massive. And so I didn't open it for like a day or a day and a half because I was really busy and I wanted to film it and move it into the garage. So um, some of my friends were joking. They're like, did you, did you check to make sure David wasn't inside of there? Because <gasps> I'm pretty sure they would also have a fail safe, but could you imagine? Like, because it was doing? like sent via messenger. So yeah. like it wasn't like mailed. It would cost a fortune to mail that. So then I just took a little peek. I was like, okay, David's not in there. So we're fine. I mean, you never know. Honestly, you don't know. My box was empty. 
Well, yeah, because you... Do you think that David was in it and I waited too long and he had to escape? Maybe. <gasps> oh my God, maybe I he wasn't it. there. I ruined it. So sometimes, um, you know, if, if I'm not able to receive a package, it'll go to Jenna's or... I made a mine. mistake. So Jenna was sleeping when the package arrived. I was sleeping. I missed my calls because we were up very, very late the day before shooting. Working on something very cool. Very cool. And I woke up, like, I woke up super early, walked the dog, I was like, I have to go back to bed. I'd never do that. I mean, I'll take a nap midday. Yeah. But this was like eight o'clock. I'm like, I'm going back to bed. I woke up to nine missed calls <gasps> and I was panicking because I knew something special was being mm-hmm. delivered. And then they thankfully like, they're like, okay, they're related. Just you take it. They so left it to me. They did. You got two of them. So anyway, the stunt was awesome. David Blaine is, he's the coolest. Freaking legend. He's great. So cool. Man. Cool, cool dude. He was uh, at one of our YouTube events before. And he tried to get me to go and do one of these stunts so to go in the water, but I had to film something right after. So I was like, oh my gosh, I wish that I could do this stunt because I love magic. But you're scared of water. I am also afraid of water. So I don't think I would have wanted to do that. Um, <gasps> the screen has gone off. It's okay, it's okay. It's it has our notes. Sleep. It has our notes on it. We have no notes. There's no notes. Nope. We need the notes. Uh, anyway. Unfortunately, I did not get to participate in it, but I used to want to be a magician when I was younger. Oh, we will never forget your middle school talent show. No, we can forget about it. You put on the performance of a lifetime. (laughs) It was so embarrassing. I was quite young, so I don't remember, but thankfully, you know, we had home videos back then, home tapes, home films. I really thought I had a future. Filmed with like a VHS. VHS. What does that stand for? Um, Video. (gasps) High speed. Video, video, stand for video home, home system. system. I was like video home. Okay, video, video home, home system. system. How did I? How did we not know that? Well, video home system. When was it created? These are too many questions. No, it's my not. Mind. This is an educational tech talk. It was developed by Victor. Company. Oh my god! It was released. Victor Wait, Company of Japan, September 9th, 1976. We are coming up on the VHS anniversary. Can you believe it, yeah, everybody? Video homes. Oh, come on, everybody. Let's give, give it up for the VHS. Truly revolutionary. Revolutionary. Revolutionary to the times. Wow, what is the date you're just today? Re- it's the third. You're just repeating things <laughs> I'm saying, and I'm celebrating the VHS. You got to get into it. J- it was developed by JVC, Victor Company of Japan. So when you hear this, well, depending on when you listen. <laughs> it's, not, it's not funny. This, this is funny. very serious. When did we stop using the VHS? I don't, Jenna, you know, I'm honestly, my, I'm functioning at like 4% today. 4%. You're basically like a modern day VHS tape. Ball. <laughs> that's like a, like a pathetic laugh. It keeps going. I don't know how long goes. It's still going. It's still going. <laughs> Wow. wow. That was like an extended fight. That was just so we usually shut it off if we don't hear well, the whole no thing. no wonder why. Oh my God, that. Oh my God. They paid actors to probably do that. I'll laugh for money. Well, yeah. I mean, okay. Do you accept Only Venmo? Only laughs.com. <laughs> I accept oh. Venmo. I'm fine and on Venmo. She's fine. I'm and fine. And on Venmo. But I'm not. Uh, well, maybe I'm maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm on Venmo. We don't know. Okay, she so we talked be. about the VHS. It was very, very about- revolutionary time. Um, do you guys, you know, do, well, if this you or you can let us know what you think about VHS. Can you believe that I set up a pumpkin candle? I set a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I set did a you pumpkin? set it out or did you, have you just left it there from last year? No, because I moved everything around and I ah. was like, mm, it's about pumpkin time because pumpkin spice lattes have come I out. I was just going to say. Did you get one yet? No. I think that I might be all pumpkin spiced out from previous years. I think I've had a lot. So I haven't even purchased a coffee from a Starbucks in probably like six months. It's strange. I've done, I've gotten coffee bean, but for some reason I, my well, Starbucks, cause it's like when I Starbucks travel, is, yeah. When I travel, I'll get Starbucks, but I've been sitting in my house. I have got Starbucks maybe seven times. Seven? Maybe seven because I seven. also because anytime I come visit you, I get coffee bean. Exactly. Uh, so coffee bean's so good. I don't know what it is about that vanilla powder. Ooh, it's, it's good. It's I, like mm, I, I always I don't want to say crack because I've never done crack and crack is bad. But you know that's <laughs> like the saying. It's like the saying like oh it's like crack. But this vanilla powder is just really really great. <laughs> I I 
I don't know. I get the blueberry pomegranate latte. Oh my God, I want that. I hit the microphone. I got excited. (laughs) I really want it now. Do you want to come over? No. Honestly, I'm probably going to have to, I'm going to probably have to go to bed after this. I'm going to be playing Tony Hawk until my eyes are bleeding. Tonight? Is it bad if I Postmates? that you can do whatever you want tyler You're- and i post made a coffee yesterday because we planned on shooting whoa, another whoa, video whoa, 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 and whoa, 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 and then i was like he went to bed i was like i don't think i can do this and then he, i sent him home i said you can go home I listen can't, i can't do it anymore if a vanilla latte shows up i'm not gonna be upset hey tyler do you think that you might be into a like a coffee or something he's never gonna okay say he's not coffee. what if you're drinking a coffee and someone's like do you want a coffee Yes, you want the coffee if you're drinking a coffee. Okay, he said he would take a coffee if he was drinking He would. Coffee. Here's the thing about me and coffee. This is Let's really, this is really great. I have one in the morning. I have to have it or else I will get a migraine hours within being hours awake. Within. Hours within. Hours within. Hours within. Does that make sense? They stop accepting orders at 6.30, so we have 18 what? minutes to place our order. I, like, I think that I need this. So Do today, you want. I want to let want? you know what I did today. I stopped drinking uh, caffeine. And I only made it until 10 o'clock. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Rewind the VHS. <laughs> Rewind it. I I heard you say you stopped drinking <laughs> caffeine after you talking about drinking two Yerbas and now post meeting a coffee. You were doing the so opposite of this that. Mo- well, this morning I was like, man, I'm just so tired. I think it's because I'm crashing from from the from the uh, the caffeine. And then- it was like 10 o'clock. I was like, I can't do this anymore. And I went, I mean, wow. That's when I get the migraine. Uh, no, yeah. And I've got such a headache. I think it's because I've only had one year and one coffee today. I don't think that's it. Have you been drinking water? It's very No, I'm definitely hydrate. dehydrated. I understand. Enough. So the one time I was able to detox from coffee for the first time in 10, 15, how old am I? 10, 10 years think is because it. I had the flu. So oh. I couldn't drink coffee for a week because- but, well, first off, it was just nauseating to think about. Mm-hmm. And then I didn't have coffee for a week. I didn't have sugar for a week. And I felt so good. You know what the first yeah. thing I did whenever you, whenever I could? What'd you do? Chug coffee. Yeah. I, know. I was <laughs> like, what should. am I doing? Oh, well, I'm, it smells I'm, bad. I'm thinking about, so this is a pomegranate. So I'm, I'm Postmates here. Oastmates? Oastmates. Um, they're probably going to mess it up. Well, why? why? Because this says, it says it's iced. Tell them you don't Hot, want that iced. Not iced. You not want- iced. I want it hot. <laughs> I want. She wants it that way. <laughs> I want it that way. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a chai latte. Oh, Tell me why. I'm going to say make hot, please. Make hot, please. <laughs> Pomegranate blueberry. I would like to have a size of medium. We're, ta- we're talking about very, very important things here. <laughs> okay. I want to talk about. I've already accepted defeat this month. 2020. Well, this. Would you like to put your order in? Oh, I have hit my microphone once again. I have to give oh. you. Oh, 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 boy. Okay, that's loud in my head. I can't find the. Oh, tell me why. I can't find the button. Oh, my God. Vanilla ice latte. I think I might want a little hot number. Oh, a hot number. I'm thinking about a little. Oh, a hot number. Mm. Choose size. Don't this tell is, me what to do. Yeah. We're ordering coffee right now. Oh, Justine. man. Do there I add? Is, or we should get it from that other. Oh, no, I really want this though. I hope they don't mess it up. Is there anything new that you have um, like been eating or drinking during the quarantine that you never thought you would like? Is this a trick question? No, it's just a question. No. Are you? Um, this is a- I've been eating way too many chocolate chip cookies, but that's not fair because I always mm-hmm. like the chocolate chip cookies. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, is there anything where you're like, oh, I'm going to like start maybe like cooking something or baking, like something new? Is this a trick question? No. Why would I be a trick question? I don't know. I'm not sure if you're like, like putting out some bait that I'm supposed to pick up and- No, and there's like- no, there's no, have you been using bait? <laughs> I don't like, <laughs> no, I don't know. No. no, I mean, I guess, uh, I mean, I learned to solve a Rubik's cube. That was- You're not eating that. Well, no. I but- understand. I did that. You've been getting into popcorn. <laughs> so we could talk about the popcorn. I'm not sure. Oh, she has fallen. Oh my God, I fell, I fell over. So Tyler was, I was trying, oh God, I've been trying so hard to get rid of this, just like everything basically in my house that I'm not currently using. So I had two air fryers and the, the biggest joke was like, I'm like, Tyler, just, you, you want this air fryer. Like you need to take this air fryer. And he's like, oh man, I don't want to have a microwave at my new place. And, and I'm like, well, you know what you can do? You can use an air fryer. You can do a lot of stuff with an air fryer. I know, but the whole point of the story was because 
is because Tyler said he liked movie popcorn. Can you make popcorn in an air fryer? Yes. You can make popcorn in a Brava as well. But listen. Oh, okay. Mine. Listen. And then ever since he said that, like there was movie popcorn like in my mind. So I watched a movie the other day in bed and I was like, I need some popcorn. Did you have popcorn or did you do a special special order? No, I went you and made the popcorn. So I you had, had it. I had, yeah. Did you check the expiration date? It did not. <gasps> it tasted fine. I wonder if popcorn, exp- I mean, it's like the butter. So it's like dairy probably does expire. Oh, I'm still here, ate two bags. So we're still, like, I'm still here. Wonder if you have any superpowers. I, I don't, maybe that's popcorn why. Popcorn woman, wait, wait, what? Have you watched the boys on uh, Amazon Prime Video? No, unfortunately I have not. Oh, okay. Season two comes out on Friday. Okay. Which, if you're listening to this, it already came out, but I'm excited. That was a show that I, boys. Was, I was very shook. I was like, oh, a funny superhero show. Not at all. A very, very not PG rated. Really? Very, very, R, R, very oh. bad, very, wow, Ra- raunchy show. But I'm excited for season two because it's aggressive. So season two, aggressive. Season two is out of the boys. I'm excited to watch that Amazon Prime mm. video. Not sponsored, but I will always gladly accept money. Um, um, <laughs> I have a bank question, account. Jenna has a Venmo and a bank account. I was trying to think of what else I'm excited to watch. I watched Lucifer season five. I've been watching R. Kelly. Little, He's a hog. Yeah, dude. It messed me up. I watched the part one and the part two and I was just like- I started part two. How, how did you get away with this? The part two was crazy because it was like talking about like the fallout and the aftermath of releasing the first season. Yeah. I'm only on episode one, so I don't know anything past that. But it's really disheartening. We live in a very messed up world. I'm so disgusted. Uh, I don't even want to start talking about it. No, and it just made me think back to like when we were younger, like his music. Middle school dances. I remember dancing to some of those songs. Like and they, they played the songs in churches. Oh, well, well I was like, well, yeah, yeah they did anyway. some of them. Yeah, I'm just like, how did people think this was okay to like listen? Like, are you not listening to the music that they're really saying? Anyway, well, yeah, our Kelly documentary was. Um, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm disgusted, and you I brought it up. I did bring it up, but I just but you were talking about what we were watching. I was, eating was good. I also started watching, um, what was I watching? Oh shoot, I can't remember what it's called. Home Before Dark on Apple TV. Oh. About the little girl who is a reporter and she, I don't want to spoil it, but. Don't report, don't spoil, report. She is Did investigating a crime watch that her father was in other a part of. That huh? the guy from Aaron Paul, Breaking yes, Bad. Did very, you watch that? Yes. What was it called? Shoot. Uh, I don't remember. It's Octavia Spencer. I don't remember. It was good though. And then so I also good. just watched Little Voices. Not, I think I started watching that. Not good. It was a little, it was really bad. I watched all of it. I didn't like it. Okay, she didn't like it. But very, very talented singing was, oh. and like very catchy songs. But the storyline, I was like, come on. Be come better. on. Be better. Be better. I think it was a true story. I think it was about Sarah Bareilles. No, no, no. Not the storyline was great. But like there was just some cheesy parts of the show. Oh, the cheesy it, it, No, the story was great. Don't get me wrong. Story talented was great. Just it's just. Well, I think it's, about, it's it's hard too, like to to figure out like what is going to come together, like yeah. when you start shooting these kinds of things. For and, sure. But yeah, I didn't watch it, so I have no context. No, I love like the story was incredible. I liked it. It just was like I don't know. I feel like I was cringing a lot. Like mm. ooh, mm. ooh, okay, ooh. So other than that, ooh, you know we're. We're surviving. Just we talked about that. Let me see like what's like trending on Twitter right now. Oh God. The election is coming up. No. I'm not gonna talk about that. Um, oh. Actually, this was kind of funny. Did, oh. <laughs> did oh. you see? So I feel like everybody kind of tries to attach on to like what the popular thing is, but the Biden campaign, they announced that they were having um, yard signs for your animal crossing. <laughs> I did. I did see that. <laughs> I mean, it's smart. It's I, great. Yeah, I actually got a few, I think a few emails about that. So I've been playing Animal Crossing as much. <gasps> I haven't been playing. Are there I any know. new updates coming or there anything? There is, uh, so they ha- now have the grape basket. Which, huh? the grape basket? It's like, basket? like that's like a grape basket. It's like oh a harvest God. basket. Oh, okay. Or your backpack. That sounds cool. Um, Are the grapes? Gonna, I think I'm gonna play this weekend. I, I need to take some time to just really go through, make sure my island is oh not, it's because I think the snow is probably melting I was gonna soon. say, what season is it for you now? Um, you should be entering sp- spring. I think I will be. Yeah. yeah, spring. Okay, so spring, and then I'm gonna be entering. Ooh, oh, I'm gonna have the leaves. Well, I'm still in summer because it's still summer. It's Virgo season. Oh, get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Is that right? Get that it right. Get it tight. Get That's it. weird. That is weird. I don't mm. like that. I don't. I don't <laughs> like that. I don't like that. 
Everybody. Oh my God. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the club. Think about going to a club. Oh my, no, I didn't. I despised. Like, I used to like going to like shows, but then like I started like having mini panic attacks. Being around that many people. Being just, around the people and the music and just the lighting. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. I mean, I don't want to make it dark, but just even considering all the things that happen in the United States when you're in crowded events or things that could happen. And all just, of the COVID. Oh, not even uh, that. More, I know, I, okay, I know what you're yeah, saying, but just, I was also oh, saying, I was adding I, to it. When I watch shows now and people are in like bars and hugging and touching and at work without masks on, I'm like, <gasps> oh my God. Do we think that the future of shows is gonna show people with masks on? Probably. The only thing is that, well, I guess with like those type of shows, you do have like uh, closed captions. Yeah. Because I didn't realize how much I lip read when I'm talking to people. Same. And I'm like, ooh, ooh, that makes it very difficult. The one coffee shop that I still have kind of been going to, it's um, it's cool because it's like, it's a scene, but they have really loud music, which was fine whenever we could hear, yeah. hear people because I would be able to get closer. Now they have like plastic so that you're not anywhere near the people. So not only does that hinder the sound, you have a mask on, so I can't read your lips. And I'm like, I want a latte. And then they're like I trying to get close latte. to the glass. And I'm like, I'm screaming. I'm like, I want, I want no fat milk. They're like, like, what? You want, you're like, what? You're all the fat milk. I'm like, no, just no fat. Is there an app you can order on ahead of the time? Like ahead of time order? Do there little... is, but it's usually like one of those, like I want this right this second. And then I just go in and get it. You could order from the car. I can order from the car. Think about it. I'm going to think about it. Every time I walk to Coffee Bean, I'm like, nah, I'm downloading the app. And That's I don't have idea. to, I'm, I'm very antisocial. Like if I don't have to talk to someone, I just small talk, something about small talk. It just, well, good. I guess no one really wants to talk to you anymore. So it's- No like, one wants to talk to you anymore? If you're in public, you're not gonna be like, wow, I'm gonna go talk to a stranger. I might be infected. <laughs> you know, you're not gonna talk to me. Did so you see I'll that to The order Rock online. got COVID in his whole family? Well, yeah. Surprise. Didn't he just get married? No. No, he got married like a year ago. Oh. Yeah, I know this year's gone. Well, I mean, I feel like a lot of people, you know, have the COVID. The COVID. COVID. I want, I'm going to order us tests. Did you, okay, but did you order the latte? Yes, Ooh. I did. What is the ETA of the latte? ETA of the latte. ETA of the 7.14. What? PM. I'm not even going to be here. You might not be. An hour and 56 minutes until the latte gets here? No. Oh, he's at 56. Tyler said 56. We're at 56. Minutes. Guys, I think that we might be nearing the end of our, our cast. Wow. What is one thing that made you happy this week? Go. Oh my God. I'll go first. Okay. So Maddie has a new friend at the dog park. Yeah. And it's a little puppy. It's a sheep -a doodle And it's already like 20 pounds. And he's going to be a very, very big boy. Is that the one he's playing out with? During your birthday? Yeah, so this dog lives like literally across the street and it's a puppy, so it goes out a lot. And Maddie goes out a lot because he's spoiled and I like to go outside. So we see this dog like four times a day and they both will get so excited that they will instantly just lay flat on the ground until one of the owners is like, can they can say hi? And then they oh. just play and it's so, so cute. So Maddie's new best friend has been the highlight of my week. That's really cute. I would say my highlight is because like all this month I've been doing a bunch of reorganizing and cleaning and moving and it's, we're nearing the final finish. It's the final finish. It is, we're almost there. And I could not be more excited because like the mental exhaustion going into also just like getting rid of stuff and just like a lot. also trying to shoot at the same time and edit while all the, this is going on. Tech season, wait uh, until iPhone. I know, <gasps> I know, I know. And then we have, we're gonna have new, uh, new Things. Xbox. We're gonna have new PlayStation. Oh my gosh, new Sony camera. Oh, A7S oh. three needs to get here immediately. Dude, that's soon. It's not soon enough because we're not shooting on it yet. But it's already September. So think how quickly the past month went. Think how quickly this past year went. Uh. Do you remember when we went to CES? CES. So I posted this Instagram. There was like a little meme going around that was like, post a photo from your camera roll from January, 2020, oblivious to what was to come. And I was laying. Oh God! I took on the picture. The airport floor with the Insta 360 R that wasn't even out yet. They were going to be announcing it at CES. So I'm Whoa. like, I have this camera, and I'm laying on the ground. I was and there. Just, it was. I looked at that photo. I was like, You're a disgusting pig, Justine. That's you disgusting. Are a hog. Wait. 
Yes, but speaking <laughs> of, um, I want to talk about my Rocky bot that our parents got me for my birthday. It's a little robot and it, it's on wheels and you can press the button. Oh, it's, oh. We need the filter. And it basically will like wheel around and underneath it is a UV light. So no it way. will, you know, like sanitize. And if you put it like under your sheets, and if something is touching the top of the robot, it will then activate the top UV lights. So it's been a cool little thing where I can, you know, like UV light and get rid of the bacteria and the viruses. Well, pew, pew, pew. That's what I think it says. Pew, does, pew, pew. does it get sucked up into the sheets or something? Like, I haven't tried that yet. Mm. No, because it, it'll, no, it's not like, it's not sucking. It's not a vacuum. Mm. Oh, speaking of vacuum, oh. Um, I just posted this video with the iRobot Roomba and the uh, Brava, which it's a, it's a mop. That video, yes, is sponsored, not sponsoring the podcast, but I honestly, like, I love these things so much. Like, it is, it's it's honestly one of the coolest devices, I think, that I've gotten in a very long time. I even saw, I think it was, like, uh, Judner's post. It was, like, I think it was maybe, like, Best Buy, but it was about, like, the robot vacuum. He's like, do you own a robot vacuum? And I was like, yes, I do. I will vote. Like, it's so great. It's, it's just such a time saver. It really is. And it does such a great job of cleaning. Yeah. I just can't even, I, I mean, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm so overwhelmed. Well, you can watch because, the video. You don't have to say anything. But I sat and I, I was watching this thing like clean. Like every time it starts going, like I'm just- So it's not a time saver because you're losing time watching the vacuum. Yeah, but it's fun. I actually do the same too. I'm like, where's it going to go? It's I'm like, so cool. Is it going to get stuck? Well, and I remember the ones like years and years ago. Like yeah. I had an old, old one. And like, it was impressive. But this thing like manages to go over like the carpet and it knows and it's smart enough- to kind of map your entire room with their latest update. So you can just tell it to go clean the kitchen. Oh, it's a great, it's, it's, it's really cool. It's I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I also need to, I'll, I should have the update, obviously. Well, hopefully, yeah. because I have a similar one because my bathroom doesn't have a door mm. and my shower, it's like the only, I don't know, it's like an open shower. Yeah. So if my vacuum went in there, it would get wet. So I normally have to like manually physically block it off. But now that I can just block it off in the yeah. app, you can add like it the, won't go in. Mm -hmm. I always block it off with Maddie's bed. And he's like, why is my bed in the bathroom? I'm like, sorry, bud. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited. It's, I'm excited for that feature. It's really cool. Yeah, out of like all the stuff that like I've got to review recently, I was like, this is really cool. I told it's you awesome. when you told me, I was like, look, man, you've done a lot of cool stuff, but this might be the coolest, the coolest video yet. She did say that, and I was like, okay, sure. And yep. now I now see. you get it. And the one that I have also will dock itself and empty its Ooh. little bag. Now you're bragging. I know it's cool. It's so awesome. I love it. Wow. Well, anyway, Maddie needs his dinner, and this is going to be a wrap of the episode twelve of the Same Brain Podcast. Our logo is almost complete, Justine. It is. I'm really happy. I'm so, so excited. It's going to be really cute. We're hopefully going to be having some mug merch. Oh, <gasps> mug merch. Love a good mug merch. Um, my we have new headphones. We do have new headphones. They feel good. They're very light. They feel good. You took your glasses off? I didn't know that was an option. Okay, so these are, Ow. these are like the blue blocking glasses. Ow. And new they blocking. were a little foggy and I started getting dizzy. I understand. Well, now I feel funny. And I, I also have contacts off. in. Get it, so, I get it. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening. We eventually will have a YouTube channel. Maybe you're watching this there, maybe not. But you can also leave us reviews, anchor.fm slash same brain, as well as on the Apple podcast, same brain. We will be reviewing and sharing some of our favorites. Thank you guys so much for listening. Have a great day weekend look how pointy my elbow is i also have a pointy one that's it, funny it can be a weapon no oh it can be i can show you some moves i can show, show you some moves, moves. Oh, you into the